Well, hello. I am not starting off this day particularly well with filming. I was gonna film going to like a, not a festival, like a farmer's market, farm type thing. We we're gonna get pumpkins, mums, but I didn't quite do it. Um, so instead, we're home now. I think what we're gonna do is kind of style the kitchen for fall. My kitchen is pretty blank right now. I just kind of wiped down the surfaces. So we have kind of a clean palette to work on and my rug for in here just came. So hold please. Look. So my rug for in here just came. So I was thinking perfect timing. We'll get this rug down. We'll do some styling in here. I don't know if we're gonna style any other spaces today. Let's, let's just see where the day takes us. I try to find ways to creatively cover the cords in my kitchen. Here I'm just going to take a couple cutting boards and try to layer them in a way that you can't see the cord. I typically do not put something kind of directly laying on the cord, but instead I'll layer the items in a way that the cord is covered, but that it does still have some space to be plugged in. I'm going to use this little DIY wooden riser that I made to just put a few of my coffee essentials on. I do keep my ground coffee in this little container here and then I'm also going to put a container that I have with little wooden spoons as well as some other odds and ends and then lastly I'll go ahead and put some of my vanilla syrup here as well. I've tried to find a balance between having decor on my counters, but not so much that there's no real room to do any prep work for cooking. It's definitely a balancing act, but I do think I'm getting a little bit better. Okay, I brought some stuff over into this corner to work with. I have this really pretty large cutting board that my mom gave to me but it is tricky to figure out what to do with i could kind of set it up like this back kind of in the corner or maybe i could set it down and kind of put things on top of it i'm gonna have to play around with this and see what i can come up with i mostly try to keep really practical things in this corner my cutting boards, a bowl that I normally keep vegetables or fruit in, my olive oil, and just some other things that I really use regularly in my kitchen. book is filled with recipes from a country inn and there are just so many great savory recipes that I think will be perfect for fall. All right, what do we think about that? I'll put up a little bit of a closer look so that you can see what you think. I might try to take another crack at it to see if I can do it in maybe a different way. Um, so let's take that apart and see if I can come up with something different.
working on this corner again, I'm noticing that it isn't terribly different from how it was the first time, but I really think just sometimes playing with the layers can give it a different feel even if the overall result isn't very different. Okay, that isn't probably terribly different than what it was before, but I do think that I like it better. So I think we're gonna stick with that and probably move on to our little island over here. Besides some of the cooking utensils, absolutely everything here was thrifted, including the basket, the pottery kind of pot there that I have holding you the utensils, this mug, the plates, as well as my little butter dish are all thrifted pieces that I love. Alright, so I think we're mostly styled in here. I did clean up my dining room table a little bit. One thing I wanted to show you is at the little farmer's market farm thing I went to, I got this candle, which I think is just so pretty. I got basically the same candle when I was there a couple years ago, and I never burned it. I have a bad habit of not burning really pretty candles, but I was thinking since I did get this one, I could probably finally light this one and burn it. So I'm gonna light this candle and we'll take a look at how the kitchen came out. I'm gonna make some pickle and bacon pizza. I already know that some of you are gonna be probably disgusted. I've honestly never made it before or had it before, but I do love bacon and I do love pickles, so I'm willing to give it a try. I currently have some bacon in the oven, and then once that comes out, I'll show you kind of how you make this pizza, and then I'm gonna cross my fingers that it's good, otherwise, I don't really have anything for dinner, so let's see what we come up with. So for the crust, I'm just going to use this kind of like thin style pizza crust. And right now, while the oven preheats to 400 specifically for the crust, I need to melt some butter in the microwave. So to start this pizza off, you're going to first take a half a stick of butter and get that melted in the microwave. I'm gonna add about a spoonful of garlic to the melted butter and stir that together. I will also go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese into this as well. I'm then going to take my mixture and just lightly spread it over my flatbread. This is going to go in the oven as is at 400 degrees for just a few minutes before we put our other toppings on. Okay, while the crust is kind of browning with the garlic butter parm sauce on it, 
I'm gonna go ahead and chop up our bacon. The bacon is definitely not cooked 100%. It's not cooked all the way through because once we chop it and it sprinkles on, we wanna make sure it finishes cooking with the rest of the pizza. I pulled my flatbread out of the oven after about four minutes, and now I'm just sprinkling on a very thin layer of mozzarella cheese, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my diced up bacon. I did not end up using all of the bacon that I cut up, so I put the rest of it in the refrigerator for another pizza, maybe another day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my chopped up pickles on here as well. Lastly, I will finish it off by sprinkling another little bit of mozzarella cheese on the top. All right, I am finally done. We have our pickle pizza here. So the only thing left is just to try it. Mmm. That is so good. I know it's not gonna be for everybody, but if you love pickles, if you love bacon, cheese this is super good i'll be sure to leave the recipe in the description box i think this is all you're going to see me for today so i will see you guys in the next video make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more from me you can subscribe to my channel otherwise i will see you in the next one take care